here's the raw data truth, folks. Right there. 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 Fuka fudge up the ring of fire. And basically, you can't shut them off. That's what the problem is, and that's why... You know, you're going to get what they give you, but also that when you bitch and moan enough, you get what you want. Okay. So let's go to the beginning of this article. And I don't advertise at all. It's just the, I, the factuality that uh, it's just easier and faster for me to throw you the truth on this article here real fast. And here we go. You can always take and... Uh, Pause your player. Okay. Now we all know about Chernobyl. We all know about Fuka Fudge Up. The Fudge Up was basically uh, whose enemy the nuclear anything is, is basically factuality. And that not that unique how I was able to do that? And no, I didn't do that, ladies and gentlemen. So just another factual scatter. Supervisor control and data acquisition. There's no way I can... Re I can't get rid of that, okay? They just don't like the idea that... And it's just faster than me going ahead and taking time to cut and paste all this. Okay, because you can freeze this all the way through the player. And a lot of truth here. So all this is out there. The grid will never end because the idea that as long as we have nuclear, they can't shut them down. Unless it's agreed that they shut them down, that they shut them down safely, okay? Otherwise, you got to have the power. So basically, the U.S. nukes are not going to go down. There's been scientists and people put their take in on what exactly needs to be done to make them safer, whether they do that or not. It's basically a giant condom is what they need, and they need condoms. They need layers. And yes, I say layers on the photos, but... It's also true on these nukes that the idea that they need layers and they need condoms and basically the tarp that they put over there, uh, I say, and then other smart and then the scientifical and everything. Then they take it all and they put it in the big think tank and they all sit down at a table and they go, well, this is the most making the most factuality. The idea that this is positive would be out positive outcome or the best positive outcome. Okay, so they put a bunch of tarps on it because. Bino and a lot of other people told them that straight up, you need layers of something that ain't going to get a hole in it. If it does get a hole in it, you can fix it real fast. So concrete works uh, the best. That's what Bino said to begin with. I could not believe that they didn't throw concrete on Fuka Fudge up as fast as they could. And I am not doomsday, okay? All this stuff's going to get fixed because we got to keep the squirrel cage going the way the world works, okay? And if not, you are in the beginning of the dark ages right now and you do not know it, okay? And them taking your constitutional rights here in America away, forget it. Because that is the beginning of the end of everything because we fought to get humanity, okay? Your constitutional rights are humanity, okay? If humanity goes away, you have nothing. Okay, so I'll scroll back up through this real, s just about steady like this, and the idea that you know that basically I just took this off the net, and instead of cutting and pasting, it's just a lot faster and better print for them, that you'd be able to read this, okay, so I'm going backwards now, Bino knows about that, Bino knows about this, Bino knows about that, okay, so anyway, your nuclear plants, they need to keep running. If they stop running or start by natural or anything problems, that's bad. Because then it's not being cooled. As long as that power is being used, that plant is staying cool. Okay? So then you get to the idea that, well, they won't give electricity away. No, they won't. 
should they in an emergency situation to keep the reactor cool? Damn straight they should. They should say, hey, we have an emergency and we need you to burn this goddamn power to keep this damn uh, nuclear reactor cool. First off, uh, you would think in local mis municipalities and uh, anything to do with the good instead of evil. Uh, but then, and then there's other ways just to basically, there's ways for electricity to be shot off to cool that reactor off and it doesn't get done. Because the government, what they need to do is take control of their reactors. That's what they need to do. And quit worrying about private citizens and smaller corporations and companies and small business and stuff like that. And start taking control of the big monster that basically, Fuka Fudge up, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a repeat of turn. Okay? And if you live near something nuclear, that's your thing. You better hope they keep that thing burning the electricity off somewhere to keep it cool. Because as long as you do that, everything's all hunky-dory. And as long as they put a bunch of condoms on it, and if you get a leak, you need concrete. And when a nuclear facility is built on ground where it can flood, uh, someone's ass, engineering and everything like that needs to be hung high. Uh, and the ones that paid for it to be done in the first place. Uh... Factual truth, 24-7, be no black. Okay, and I don't, uh, these the links down here and so forth and so on, this was just with the article. So, uh, like I say, go to nuclearcrimes.org, and basically, I've got a link that I'll put in here in this, to the idea that now he has another third site. So, more than likely, and I don't blame him for taking the money. If they bought him out, and they might even also be trying to step on him, it was nuclearcrimes.com. Or .org or something like that. And before that, it was just basically the best nuclear energy uh, screw-ups that you could find. And I can't even remember the name of that. But it has been recently nuclearcrimes.net.com or something like that. And I'll try to put the link in on this. And you can... This is all factual data, folks. 24-7. Okay? And uh, basically, there you go. Thanks to Marth, uh, Matthew. I guess if you'd be female, you'd probably call him Martha, right? So anyway, got this off the net. And anyway, all that is true. Very truthful article. So my latest video before this one is very good. You go watch that. There's another one today, and it's basically, I wanted to put, uh, yes, Beano Black, I think I put on that one. So, uh, Basically, this is up above, and we were showing that yesterday on, I was showing that yesterday, and then we know that we have triangulation like crazy throughout space, okay? Uh, basically, that's how a diamond gets cut. Very hard object down here on Earth, and the idea that all these huge planets also, they will crystallizingly break up when they explode on an explosion and so forth and so on, and then they end up with a triangulation in space in their orbits and so forth and so on and that is the recent shot of the sun and then we know that there's something up there above the sun and it, it keeps on getting roller marks on it and there's way more than one object and this might be a huge remnant as I have this thing I believe blown up at the thousand here so huge remnants now, I don't know if anybody noticed yesterday but I put this on Dutch's you know where and because the idea that that is very dramatic uh, Okay, and then uh, you go to the uh, solar magnetosphere and watch it. It'll watch your quakes pretty easy. Live uh, magnetosphere, magnetosphere, live magnetosphere. Search that on the internet. You should be able to find it live. Magnetosphere feed. Uh, and basically there has been some CME action because you can tell that the and we know there is because I'll take you to the map and you also see it on the data because it breaks up you see these miss that miss there that miss there and that miss there that's CME action if you look at that there without me putting my cursor on that too you'll see you know you see the breakups on the lines normally it's supposed to be solid all the time so when you get those breakups and like I say once again we do have a heartbeat okay so I mean the sun, in a sense, what we're saying is the idea has the electrical energy that keeps on, and um, you know, if that drum roll quits a drumming, 
there could be something up there. And then the idea of that big ass mark that we're seeing, the triangulation of that roll that we are getting, whether it's static electrical, like I showed you in the videos yesterday. Uh, and basically, I guess I'll take you to, and there's your marks. You can't miss it. You know, your eyes don't lie to you. So, and you've seen, we've seen the constant touching of, and then they say tornado as well. They're not tornadoes, ladies and gentlemen. They're cooling spots because the idea that when something hits the sun, it's using all of its energy to burn up or thwart or fight that object off or burn it up or whatever the hell. And then that cools the sun in that area for a while and we get these marks. And you get those marks and so forth and so on. And also you get spots. There's also, yes, I'm not going to argue with anybody on the idea that this could be just heat and blowing up. But we know that this is from cooling and marks and roll from the sun. And it has a very unique diamond pattern of basically what we just showed you of of this right here and I want to say hi to Kerasoft uh, civilian and uh, military side uh, civilian side enjoy the videos I play for you they're just for you they're just for you and private dicks private organizations and investigation and companies for the rich and famous not really rich and famous at all not famous at all basically just filthy rich glad to be in the club okay now we do have a planet also there that I see as I scroll down so you got a planet there no matter what whether it's for Venus and Mercury which we know and which basically it shouldn't be but there is either that or that it's a comet that came through as you see it almost looks like Lovejoy what it did when it transgressed and changed uh, its phase as it went around the sun we all remember Lovejoy and basically if you look at this you'll see that basically this group pattern or triangulation of a dead planets or stars or objects that are in the supergiant's main sequence are scarring the sun like that diamond shape like that and then we figure be no factual and I own it this is the idea that no matter what it's putting that triangulation shapes on the sun okay whether it's electrical static or if it's actually touching and rolling okay because we know uh, your eyes don't lie and you see it, okay? So whether it's electrical static, and we know that the sun has tons of protection, electrical, that bounces comets and stuff around. It lets them not get close. But when you get certain massive objects, they get in close. And whether they're touching and rubbing, i.e. there, and it all matches up there and here, that the idea that no matter what, whether it's static electrical or not, it's happening and we have our solar f CME flares, coronal mass ejections. And then there's the point of where the idea that we get, you know, like I've mentioned before, comically, uh, popcorn farts. The idea that no matter what, we are getting, uh, th that's basically them basically making sure that they get my video, even though it's probably going to end up looking when it plays, the idea that, well, you're touching it making it come up now they whenever you drag close they'll drag it up because they want to see what, what I'm uploading and they're basically the higher up higher ups they're already looking at it as I tape it and like I say the movies I play are basically for Terrasoft enjoy ladies and gentlemen uh, the black box keeping us safe every day 24 7 Pinot Black raw data truth 24 7 and when that CME action hitting uh, ahead I think that's pretty much matching from yesterday. We see our dates that we go through. We go to the second, goes to the fourth now. So we get two more days. I didn't pay attention to that. That's Earth there, and it's good that when we're in this clear area like that blue there, that's good. But when we get this, this kaleidoscopes around. You see this, all this CME action here, folks? It's out in space. We get all that super giant sunlight. And watch the video just before this. Yes, Beano Black. Basically, a lot of truth from Palau, Antarctica, and you'll see way more than one sun, ladies and gentlemen. Way more than one sun. Cam trailing for a reason, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, huge CME action here, as you see. This is the 26th, 27th, and yes, remember this is UTC time on that time clock, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So we'll pump this up a little bit. See what we can pull in here to make it look okay. I'm going to put 125 on. There you go. That, might sh that should look better. So. You got the remnants and everything, so let's go ahead and hit pause somewhere in here. There you go. 
there's a huge and then the more than likely and then it don't matter what we got all these objects that are up and then if I get that and we reverse that so you get an idea that the more than likely when you get this explosion there's more than likely some damn dark